every time I write a story and see a story in the newspaper, I'll read it and I'll say, I wish I would have done this. This goes on too long. This part of the story goes on too long. There are many times that I'm happy with the end result, but it's rarely a story that I see after it's been published that I wouldn't have done something differently. It's different with the books because, you know, the books take four and five years, you know, and so I have time to reread things, re-edit things, to fix things in a book, you know, but you don't get that in a magazine article or a newspaper story. So the books I tend to be happier with. It takes great patience with people who are not naturally willing to talk, you know. And so I might think I'm going to be at their house for an hour, and I might end up being there for four hours. You know, so it takes, takes great patience. I think people, if they invite you in their house, you know, then they're willing to talk. You know, they have things that they would like to talk about, but they may be reticent or naturally shy. You know. And it's really a different experience to be interviewed by someone you know, who's trying to extract information from you, some, you know, some of the information you, know, you might not want to, to talk about. Sometimes people ask me, I've been interviewed, and they'll say, how did you feel about that bad review you got for your last book? You know, and I'm thinking, do we really have to go there? To realize that even though there have been changes in the media world, that it's still a great craft and that there are still great outlets to do your work. You know, and good work tends to always find a form. Somebody will publish your story or somebody will uh, get your short film onto a screen. Uh, you know, somebody will help the good work rise to the surface. It will get noticed. You know, and I think media, journalism, storytelling is actually in some ways more powerful than ever now.